across the pond, Trump is still going on with his ongoing election fraud campaign where he's trying to say, I didn't win, I didn't lose, I won and everything's all fine. And it turns out that our friend, Michelle Malkin, who we had on the show last week, uh, she came out and she decided, I know, I know what everybody needs. I need to explain to everybody that it's not a hoax and this is actually how it was done. Newsflash. It has already happened around the world. That's what the propagandists of the feckless fourth estate in America don't want you to know. They also don't want you to remember that there was a time not so long ago when it served the left-wing media's ideological agenda to expose the grave security risks of automated voting machines. Just two short years ago, the liberal social media outfit Now This sounded the alarm over vulnerable voting machines with a video showing that, quote, a hacker only needs one minute to change election results in 24 states. Twitter didn't censor that or label it. <laughs> now they just pretend it doesn't exist. The, the serial console in the back gives us a root shell. That means you have control of the, of the machine. Once you have full control you... of that, and then we can change the results of what it's scanning. This is the way that you get data in and out of the, um, in and out of the operating system yeah, yeah, that runs on this machine. My computer is connected to the machine. This is a serial cable, and it's connected to the back of the machine. You take off the back of the machine, and there's a serial port, and that gives us full root access with no password. There's no security subsystem on this one. Nope, there's no password. With this kind of access, you could rewrite the code that's running on there and get it to count votes in whatever way you wanted. You would do this in advance of election night and then wait for the results to come in. You could control the election results. Either way, as long as I had physical access to either plug something in or take off the back and plug something in there. But you just need that access briefly. Once, yes, very briefly. About how long? If you had this all prepped and ready to go, a minute. A minute. Three companies implicated in worldwide election meddling scandals are intertwined through a labyrinth of shell companies, Dominion, Smartmatic, and Sequoia. Dominion Voting Systems manufactures both election hardware and software with headquarters in Toronto, Canada and Denver, Colorado. Smartmatic is the multinational corporation that makes vote counting machines as well as software and is purportedly tied to the late Venezuelan dictator Hugo Chavez's regime. Smartmatic machines have used Dominion software. Sequoia, which was acquired by Dominion in 2010, makes voting machines that have used Smartmatic software. Watchdogs in the Philippines have grappled with what they believe is widespread Smartmatic and Dominion-related election manipulation for 10 years. Attorney and former Filipino Congressman Glenn Chong scoured audit logs to uncover how Smartmatic machines had somehow preloaded and transmitted thousands of votes before polls even opened. Michelle, the term preloaded is exactly the same term I'm using here in Manila. Um, preloaded votes preloaded ball ballots. Again, I point this out to our audience. Look at these uh, pieces of documents. They are signed. Uh, we have 70,000 voters, about 4, uh, exactly 4,114 4, ballots were already scanned by 145 voting machines days before the elections. That's uh, over around 6 or 7%. Chong notes similarities in how he says his race and others in the Philippines were rigged with what happened here in America. Uh, I've said that my case in uh, my district in Diliran, Philippines, is exactly the same case as in the case of President Trump. He was ahead on the night of the election, and then his lead was wiped out all throughout the day, the next day. That's the same thing with me. I was overtaken at 5.56 in the morning the following day, uh, the day following the elections, in the case of Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr. He was ahead on the night of the elections. He was ahead by 943,045 votes. That was his lead. Within a few hours, by 3 o'clock in the morning, 3.26, if I remember it right, 3.26 in the morning, all the 943,045 votes lead of Senator uh, Ferdinand Marcos Jr. was wiped. That's right, wiped out. Chong also exposed automatic vote padding and shaving manipulation by Smartmatic machines, plus what he says is missing and out-of-sequence ballot images. He confronted Smartmatic officials with reams of logs outlining this fraud. Other politicians in the Philippines turned up the heat. 
I'm sorry I have to say this, and it seems a little harsh, but what they, they, they are not there to sell an electronic uh, election system. They are there to give a method of cheating to whoever pays them the most. Wow. Instead of providing answers, several Smartmatic officials left the country, including a veteran Smartmatic official named Haider Garcia. This Venezuelan-born operative now serves, believe it or not, as election administrator for Tarrant County, Texas. That's a county which turned blue for the first time since 1964 after the introduction of, dum dum dum, new electronic voting machines. Hmm. Well, evading scrutiny seems to be part of the vote hacking playbook. Last week, Dominion officials bailed out of a state legislative hearing in Battleground, Pennsylvania. GOP State Representative Don Kiefer asked the questions that Dominion won't answer. Does Dominion use open source software so that observers can go in and they can see exactly what switches are being turned on and turned off? We don't know. Transparency is key. So if they're doing this, if they used open source software, right, we would know what's going on there. The average observer could take a look to see what that process is. Who has control over our elections? Who has dominion over our votes? Is it we the people or is it the electronic voting oligarchs? Without full election and transparency, there can be no election peace. My goodness, my goodness. This is it. And a with crazy world. Indeed, this is the thing. This is the, the problem you're dealing with. Thank you for watching. I'm impressed. You've passed the IQ test and got this far, so let's press that button to do the last thing that helps us. It's got subscribe on it, you can't miss it, and please ring the bell for notifications of future videos.